Okay, guys, I found something else. You're gonna like it. It's another Chevy, and it's a Camaro. Let's take a look. Nice little red Camaro. Something simple. I don't see any Z28 badges on it. I don't see any SS badges on it. You know, people love to put stuff on here. And by the way, this thing right here is a Rambler, a Marlin. And this big old Marlin is sitting in the way, but it's here. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Camaro. It looks clean. The body and the back fender coming up on this back glass. This is a trunk, no hatchback. But this thing looks pretty clean. Look at the roof. Door is locked. The front end looks real nice. It's missing the Chevy sign, but who cares? This is a fixer up. Or clean it up and drive it as is. Camaro. So it's missing the Camaro badge on the other side, but who cares? Hey, look at that cow hood induction. Or should I say the cow hood? You know. Decent rims on here, front and back. The body is still in excellent condition. We got a nick here. That could be handled. I know a lot of you do-it-yourselfers love to get cars like these and fix them up. And these, the ring right back there is an LT. That's what this is. And it needs another lock for the trunk. Passenger side door opens. Tilt steering column. Automatic. Interior. Headliner is in good condition. Interior is in good condition. Excellent condition, by the way. This is pretty clean, what I'm seeing back here. This is pretty clean. Driver's side seat looks like it's in excellent condition, man. Yeah, this is a nice find. Door closes pretty well. What can you say? Let's look at what Seagull says here. 77 Chevy Camaro. V8. 130 miles per hour speedster, huh? Dual exhaust, well, that's good to know. Real good to know. Okay guys, I found another one. This time it's a different little bit of a Corvette, but uh, let's take a good look at it. This here is a 1980 Corvette. It's got the removable T-tops. It's got that extended nose piece. That's why I want you guys to see it white really nice fixer wrapper or drive it as it is if you like all depends on you and what's your text dual exhaust nice corvette leather seats doesn't look like it has much damage to it it's just an older vet sitting there or maybe around here in this area, yeah. But it's pretty much in decent condition. Fiberglass body, built for speed. 1980 Corvette, T-top V8. It runs. Okay guys, I found something real nice. I used to love these cars when I was a kid, high school. And uh, I remember seeing my first one in 86, and actually that's what this thing is. Let me show you. 1986 Mustang GT. 
They got one sitting here, the box bodies. Man, these things were fast. I used to see people racing those eye rocks in these things. I used to see people leaving them eye rocks in these things. You know, both cars was quite similar in speed and power. This had the 225 horsepower. I think the, the uh, Camaro had just a little bit more. You know, these things were faster and lighter. You know, I mean, they were something to be dealt with, man. This thing has that pop sunroof. It's, it seems like this whole car is in decent condition, you know. Whether you want to buy it to drive it, buy it just to take it to the track, or fix it up just to have it out on the streets for a V8 Mustang. There's the information. 5.0 V8 5-speed manual trans. I know you're going to like that. Okay, we're outside in one of the outdoor sheds. Found a real nice 69 Corvette. I want to show you. I managed to get the hood up. It was already unlocked. So this thing, one of them 69s, you can see the headlights right down there in that little grill. I was a, I'm still a Mustang man first, but I always did love the Camaros and I love the Corvettes. I just didn't have the passion for the Corvette like I did the Mustangs, you know. But anytime I see an old vet like this, a 69 on top of that, it's always nice to look at. And this one here is stick shift, four gears. And uh, looking at the motor to this thing, I don't know if this is the original motor or not. I really don't care. Because whoever wants this car, want to buy this car, you know you're going to get a nice car. Or be a country classic car, or something to fix up. Or something to drive as is. It all depends on you. What you want to do. This is nice. As you can see, the tops in good condition. The passenger side door opens. We can look in the interior. Don't stink in here. You see, it needs some 10 11 care. Look at it, look at all the tech right there. Telling you everything you need to know. So, I said it's a four speed. Oh, let me try that again. Four speed. Nice car. Interior, the seats are well conditioned. Really nice car. Really nice car if you're a Corvette lover.